You know, whenever you're fishing in salt water, you're constantly looking for clues of where the bait fish are, the forage fish. Now here, off the coast of northwest Mexico, these are frigate birds, and I refer to them as high flyers, because sometimes you'll see them flying really, really high. They must have excellent vision, because they're looking, or they actually might be seeing, bait fish that larger game fish are pushing near the surface of the water. So unlike in fresh water, where the bait fish are normally deep below the surface, in salt water, to get away from the prey, the bait fish will actually swim towards the surface and what I'd love to see soon is actually bait fish exploding out of the water and bigger game fish boiling on them so when that happens we go over there and try to fish right away so seeing these frigate birds like this is a really good sign that there's something underneath the water they're looking at food You know, if you look in the distance, this is amazing. Now we're like uh, five, six hundred yards. You can see those birds. Like they know when the big predator fish are around. So, you know, when you're fishing out here in salt water, that's a very good sign. Whether you see birds up in the sky, like we did earlier, like the uh, frigate birds and some of the divers that are waiting for the larger fish. And you, can, you can feel from the speed that we're going that Lewis is on the hot trail up there. So the birds, look at they're feeding again. You can see the birds just jumping right all over them. So Lewis is gonna go right up to them. Man, there, there's gotta be hundreds, hundreds of fish. He's gonna try to head them off, so he's a good guy. This is where you gotta hold on. These are all jacks feeding on bait fish. Wow, there's gotta be a few hundred around here. And I just tossed my rappel in. Look at this. You talk about a feeding frenzy. I've never seen this many. Oh, Barbara, quick. Have you cast in there, honey? Get a cast in there, sweetie. Oh, oh. Look at how fast they are moving. This is amazing. I've never seen this many fish. So I've got one on here. You know, Lewis really knows the water here. I'm, I'm looking, what's happening, the birds are on the surface and they're just waiting. You know something's up when those birds are all packed like that. And you can see why, if you look now, the birds are pigging out on the bait fish that the jacks are pushing to the surface. So that's what that white foam is on the surface. I mean, there's never a dull moment here at Serena Marina Golf and Residences. This is so much fun. The one thing I wish I did was bring my fly rod, because I mean, casting into a school of jacks like that, they'd hit anything when they're that uh, aggressively feeding. <sighs> Isn't this something? They all seem to be about the same size. They're four or five pounds. Oh boy, are they fighting good. See, the other reason for using the heavy fluorocarbon leader, even to get like the rooster fish and some of the larger fish, you can grab the leader as long as the hooks don't bend and uh, you can, then grab the fish either by the tail, there he goes grunting again, or by the gill plate. So while I'm doing this, he's putt-putting forward. I'm just going to put my pliers away. I'm going to hold them up for you again, just to give you a nice look. I think I'll have a seat here. You know, this is more comfortable. Aren't they gorgeous? You talk about packs of killer fish. Man, those bay fish don't have a chance. When you get like hundreds of these together, like there's so many jacks together and that's a pattern sometimes you get an individual fish but jacks are schooling fish so whether you get them you know near the rocks and reefs or off the beach like this so i'm going to get this guy back in the water because i see the fish coming up again put him down right over here we're moving and that's okay there he goes fisher girl catch the passion jessica this is probably one of your favorite things, right? To hold oh, a yes. frog in your hand. Do you know the frogs are excellent bait? No. Yeah, they are, especially for bass. Largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. Because a lot of times when you're fishing for bass, you're fishing off the shore, especially where there's weeds and lily pads, there's a lot of frogs. And bass learn to feed on frogs. So they do work well. Yeah. So we're just going to show the viewers two popular ways to hook a live frog. So if you were going to cast the frog out from shore and slowly bring it back, we would actually take the hook and just put it through the lower jaw 
and I'm just going to demonstrate this. And then it would come up through the upper jaw, and it would be just like that. The reason we'd be doing that is so that when we cast the frog out, we'd be pulling it back to shore head first, so the frog would look like it's swimming towards the shore. Now, there are other times when there's so many weeds that you don't want to cast your frog out and bring it back because it's going to get caught up on the weeds. Mm -hmm. So if that were to happen, this is going to be tricky. We're going to try not to let go of the frog. Okay. So I'm going to try to grab the frog because this is a healthy frog. Now, if, we, if there was a lot of weeds and we wanted just to cast the frog out and let it sit there, all we would do, and I'm actually going to hook it this time, is take the hook and just put it through one of the legs of the frog but I'm putting it so that the hook is facing upwards like that. Mm -hmm. He's okay, he's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> now the reason we've hooked it through the leg is, if we cast it out and we don't want to bring the frog back through the weeds, we just let it sit there and it's gonna swim on its own. So if you give it a little bit of pressure, he'll actually start kicking. So that actually looks natural, the way he's floating on the surface mm -hmm. like that. And you just let him swim around out there in between oh. the weeds. And sooner or later, you see a big boil because yeah. the bass comes up. And a frog this size, a largemouth bass, even a two-pounder, he would inhale it. So wow. they're very good bait, especially fishing from short. The only thing is you have to catch them. <laughs>